Let's start talking about partials and how we can include child views into each of our layouts and pages. Something that we might often want to do is create a new layout. This is going to be a very simple layout that we're creating that differentiates very little from the main layout, but as your views start to get a little more complicated, this could be a very useful technique. Under Layouts, we'll create a new file, sidebar.blade.php. So this will be exactly what the main layout is, except for in the main section, we're going to add a div class sidebar. And this is the sidebar content. That could start getting pretty full with sidebar content, but right now that placeholder will be just fine. Now, after we created the sidebar layout, we can see that a lot of the code is starting to repeat itself across different layouts. The head of our file will probably be the same, the header would most likely be the same, and the footer would definitely be the same. The way I like to separate out our partials and our child views is to create three partials. We will start with head.blade.php. That will have all the meta information, header.blade.php, and also footer.blade.php. Now in the footer, we're just going to do the same thing out of the main layout. Let's go ahead and copy it directly from the main layout. Now notice I'm doing what's inside the footer and not the actual footer tag itself. This helps in that when we're using different layouts, we can maybe append a class to this if we wanted to do some main layout classes or some sidebar classes or any other sort of layout classes that we needed. That goes in the footer. All of this stuff goes in the header. And all of the information in the head of the file goes into the head partial that we created. Now we can include these in our various areas. Include partials head. We'll do the same for header and the same for footer. Now our layouts are starting to get very clean and very easy to read. Copy all that, go over to the sidebar layout that we had, and then bring back that sidebar information that we had. We could even create a partial for the sidebar if we wanted to use the sidebar in multiple places. I have also been inclined to create a new partial for styles and also a new partial for scripts. It all depends on the sort of project you're building. As you start to get larger and larger, it might make more sense to segregate out your views and your child partials so that everything has a very clear purpose in the file that it's contained in and you can really find out what's going on in that file based on its name. Let's use this new sidebar layout. We're going to use the sidebar on the contact page extend layouts.sidebar instead of the main, that quickly we can have a sidebar on the contact page and no sidebar on the other pages.